Hi, my name is Allie Mackey, and for my bookshare, I read The House on Mango Street, written by Sandra Cisneros. Um, she's a Mexican-American author, and she uh, writes from this perspective. In the story, our main character, Esperanza, is about 12 or 13. They don't write, say it, but she's a young teenager, and she shares a year in her life. She is... Um, Chicano, Mexican-American, and she starts the story in moving into the house on Mango Street, this little red house in a very cramped suburb of Chicago in a Chicano and Puerto Rican neighborhood. Uh, this is the first house her parents have ever owned, and they're proud of that. It's a big step up from their tiny apartment they lived in. However, Esperanza is not as impressed with this house. It's small, it's cramped, and in her view, it's falling apart. She uh, moves into this house and befriends her neighbors, Lucy and Rachel, and along with her little sister, Nanny, they go on many, many adventures, and she writes of these adventures that they go on and all of the things she learns kind of in her child phase of the book. Um, she starts to mature and explore her sexuality. They wear high heels around the neighborhood. She starts to talk about getting attention from boys and begins to shift into a more adult role. Uh, she starts her first job and shares of an unexpected kiss from um, an older gentleman. And this is really kind of a turning point into adulthood as she learns who can be kind of unfair and the different aspects of growing up. So she moves on to adulthood and she shares about some of the shame she feels at school for being different from others because of her culture and her ethnicity. She experiences death. Um, of uh, family members and this continues to shape her view on life and kind of separate that adulthood phase from the childhood phase she once was in. She then begins to write about the older women in her neighborhood and the stories that they've shared with her and realizes that they're kind of stuck in their situation, sometimes literally stuck within their houses. And this really heightens Esperanza's awareness of what is happening and what her future could be and what her future wants to be and this starts her need for leaving Mango Street and her desire to become more than she is. The next school year begins and Esperanza strikes up a friendship with Sally who's much more mature than her previous friends Lucy and Rachel. Um, Sally tends to use boys as a way to escape from her own father who is very abusive and this is a change for Esperanza. She's uncomfortable with some of Sally's choices but continues to befriend her and do things with her and this kind of culminates with an experience at the carnival in which Sally leaves Esperanza alone and due to this alone vulnerability, she believes, um, she ends up being sexually assaulted by multiple boys and it's a very traumatic experience for her and this really is a turning point for her. The cements her wish to leave Mango Street for a much better life, not only for herself but to bring it back for the other women on Mango Street. At the end of the book, Esperanza realizes that she will never be able to fully leave Mango Street because the experiences she has endured, as well as the experiences of the other women who have shared with her, will forever be a part of her, be with her. She uses writing as a way to emotionally escape from these experiences and realizes that she can continue to do that while she's living at Mango Street. And she can also use her writing as a way to escape in the future, to become more than Mango Street. Her stories are both heartbreaking and motivating. They really have shown me that I have a lot to be thankful for in my own life and that not only Esperanza but all of the women in Mango Street have endured a lot. And it shows the need to be more empathetic of others, not only in her life experiences that um, could have happened due to her different experiences and different circumstances, but could happen to anybody, as well as the experiences she shares about at school. And this really made me think about what I can do as a teacher to uh, enhance the lives of the students that I face. Overall, I really enjoyed the book and I would recommend it to anybody.